All right, Dion, this right here is for you. We are going to integrate this rational function. And yes, we will have to do the partial fractions first. So have a look. I will write it down right here. 3x minus 5 over. And the bottom is already factored it for us, which is very nice. And now here is the form. First, we have this factor, and this is just a linear factor. So we will have some number a over the denominator x plus 1. And then notice that for this factor, we have x plus 2, but to the second power. Therefore, we have to build out the power. So we will have to do plus, and this is just a linear inside, so we have x plus 2. And because this is linear, on the top, it has to be a constant. So let's say b. So that's the second one, and then the third one is going to be plus. We have to build out the power to the second power here. So we will just have x plus 2 raised to the second power on the bottom. And whenever we are building out the powers, the top will stay the same kind. So this is a constant, this is also a constant, so we have this right here, right? And now here's the good news. We can actually solve for a and c by using the Kafra method because we have the same denominator right here, likewise for this one. So here we go. I will just write this down right here. Let a is going to be the following. Well, to figure out a, notice that the bottom right here is x plus 1. We go back to the original. We cover the same denominator. But we have to ask ourselves how we can make x plus 1 to be 0. x has to be negative 1, right? So I will have to let x equal to negative 1. Put it here, put it here. So we get 3 times negative 1 minus 5 over negative 1 plus 2, and then we square that. All right, work this out. On the top, we get negative 8. On the bottom, this is just positive 1 square. So all in all, we get negative 8. So we have it. A is equal to negative 8. And then let's also do the same thing for C. Go back to the original, cover the same exact denominator. X has to be negative 2 in this case, right? So let X equal to negative 2. And put it here, put it here. We get 3 times negative 2 minus 5 over negative 2 plus 1. And we see that the top is negative 11 over the bottom is negative 1. So all in all, we get positive 11. And we have it. C is equal to 11. So that's pretty nice because we knocked off two numbers by using the Kafra method. Now, for the constant b, all we have to do is Let's go ahead and do the good way. Clean the denominators. So I will multiply everybody by the lowest common denominator, namely x plus 1 times x plus 2 squared. And then when we do this times that, we will just get 3x minus 5, and that's equal to this times that. Well, the x plus 1 cancel. This is negative 8 that we know already, so I'll just put that down. Negative 8 times that, right? So we have x plus 2 squared. And then this times that. Well, one of the x plus 2 factor will cancel. And we will have the b, which we don't know. So plus capital B. And we have x plus 8. I mean x plus 1. Times another x plus 2, right? So we have the x plus 2 here. And then lastly, this times that, the x plus 2 will cancel, right? The second power cancel each other nicely. So we have the 11 times that. So plus 11 times x plus 1, like this. And now, let's go ahead and just do the usual thing. So this is 3x minus 5. That's equal to, multiply this out, we get the negative 8 in the front. We have x squared plus 4x plus 4. And I will multiply this out. We have the plus b, and this is x squared, 2x, another x, so it's 3x, and then plus 2. And let me just have the 11 times x plus 1. And then, of course, I'm going to distribute the coefficients now. So we get the 3x minus 5, that's equal to. Multiply in, we get negative 8x squared, and then negative 32x, and then negative 32, and this is plus bx squared, and this is plus 3bx, and then plus 2b. And lastly, we have the plus 11x, plus 11. In fact, we don't have to worry about too much on this because notice that the left-hand side is 0x squared plus this guy. On the right-hand side, we have negative ax squared and then plus bx squared, right? 
So in another word, you see that we can actually just write it down like this. Negative 8 plus b and then x squared and then y after that. Well, you see that we have the 0 x squared plus 3x minus 5. That means 0 has to be the same as that. The coefficient has to be the same. Therefore, we know that negative 8 plus b has to be 0 because if the polynomials are equal to each other, the coefficients have to equal to each other. So in another word, b is equal to, move that to the other side, we get cap, not, not capital 8, we get um, 8 for b. So this is my b, this right here is 8, right? They look similar, but yeah. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. Now we can go back there and we can integrate the fractions individually. And that's actually much better. So, right here, let's see, this is going to be the same as the following. First, we have negative 8 over that. So I'll just put that down. Negative 8 over x plus 1. Next, we have 8 over x plus 2. So we add 8 over x plus 2. And lastly, we have 11 over that. So we have plus 11 over x plus 2 squared, like all this, dx, right? So let's focus. Notice this right here is just linear, likewise for that. So they are going to be the natural law situations. They are not so bad. For the first one, put down the constant multiple, which is negative 8, and then integrate 1 over x plus 1. We get ln absolute value of x plus 1. And you see, the coefficient of x is just 1. So you don't have to divide it by 1. doesn't really matter, right? So just make sure you double check on that. Likewise, for this, we will just add 8, and then again, we get a natural law situation, and then we have the absolute value, the inside is x plus 2, and again, the derivative of x plus 2 is just 1, so divide it by 1, doesn't matter. Lastly for this, as a reminder, this right here, is, we, it's this to the second power, so do it carefully. I will put the 11 in the front first. So let's say you have 11, and let's look at the integral, and we have 1 over x plus 2 squared dx. Technically, we should do a u sub real quick. So let's go ahead, let u equal to the inside, which is x plus 2. And du, it's nice d equal to dx. So we see that this is 11 times the integral, 1 over u squared, and this is the same as du, like this. Well, remember to integrate this. Bring this up and make that into a negative power. So we get 11 times the integral of u to the negative 2 power, du. And then, of course, add 1 to the power. That will give us negative 1 divided by the new power. So divided by negative 1 like this. So we end up with negative 11. So I'll just put this down right here, negative 11. And this is u to the negative 1 power. So I'll just put that down like this. And of course, we can write this down as negative 11 on the top over u to the first pole on the bottom and u is the same as that, so x plus 2, like this. So finally, for this one, we will have plus 11, well, it's actually a negative now, right, because we have the negative, so we have a negative, so let me actually put this down in green, we have a negative 11 over x plus 2, let me just put this down in green because I'm looking at that part. So, that's it. And of course, finally, well, there's a C right here already, but it's not the same C, so anyway. Anyway, <laughs> let's just put on another plus C, all right? Don't use this C for the C. Anyway, that's it. Study hard for the test.